This is DJ745 for Musical Flight and World of Reggae, live and direct with a living legend here, Mr. Michael Grammy Rose. Mm-hmm. 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 Yes, I. Greetings, welcome to Jamaica. What can I tell you? 2019, you're here in full living colours, looking as healthy as possible as you could expect. Give thanks. <laughs> no, yeah. Seriously, what's the secret, man? Come on, you you know. No, it's it's no secret, man. You just have to take care of yourself. <laughs> All right. Tell the people of Whirler Reggae, what yeah. does Michael Rose do to take care of himself? Well, make music every day. <laughs> That's the secret? Yeah, okay. I, I exercise a lot and, you know, give praises. Hope the Father guide me as I go along in this way of Babylon, you see me, because there's a lot of obstacles out there and we got to make go through, you see me? Very, very true. Now, you, you're one of our reggae elders. It's 2019 and your music is just as relevant now as it was 30, 40 years ago. Okay. Why do you think that is? Well, it's, it's, it's hard work and dedication, you know, makes you improve. So that's what it's, it is, you know? I mean, when you were starting out in the music industry back in the 1970s, did you ever imagine that you would be here in 2019 talking about your career? No, let's say we're not planning to catch your wife. You know, it's like, you can plan stuff and earthquake come and everything dissolve. It's just gone in a thin year, you know, it's just, you know, so mm. we don't plan nothing. We just have give praises and give thanks, you know? Yeah, man. 40 years ago, 1979, was the time when you recorded this album called Showcase. 40 years ago, and the music that you made on that album is still relevant today, giving thanks to some of the younger people. Yeah. Taurus Riley, he's yeah. brought that song, Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, back to life. Yeah, the song got justice, you know, I think, and... Um, you know, it's going to go places. It's very early stage right now, but it, it, it's making waves right now, you know? Mm. Yeah, because uh, it was even number one on the chart in New York. Uh, Clinton leads the chart from uh, about somewhere October there, come right till January. And, um, and then it kind of eased up. So, but it's, 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 it's going, it's, it's boiling, it's getting hotter. hotter. Yeah. I mean, for me, it's almost like it's the, the Taurus Riley single is actually introducing the works of elders like yourself yeah. to a new generation because there's people out there that are listening to that Taurus Riley song thinking you know, funniest thing Taurus one morning early I was in the airport you know like you know I leave you know for go on tour and I saw Taurus and him come and say take a picture and after him take a picture he turned to me and say I have a surprise for you you know because he was okay. catching a flight with Dean them and with the band and 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 me laugh and then one day him called me you know and 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 him send the, the the song to me and and me i said what me i said this is mad and him said we're going to do the video soon <laughs> and you know and we did the video downtown kingston at fleet street, fleet street. yeah man mm-hmm. yeah now your your work and your the the legacy that you've created this isn't the first time you know we've had a lot of younger artists people like protege yeah. have been really inspired by the work that black uru sound the sly and robbie sound right. um that's just testament to the work that you all put in back then which is why your music is so relevant okay well if people are following the trend that sort of thing go you know there's nothing we can do you know because uh, you know we grew up under the music industry you know in our days you know we used to like deal with like r&b music and all kind of different music and this is what it is today you know along with like no disrespect but bob marley alton ellis delroy wilson all them old singers come all the way up you see me mm-hmm. yeah you know they paved the way mm-hmm. i mean you you're, you're talking of following trends but really you 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 were one of the trendsetters because look your work and your music is still living on t- yeah. and it's going to continue for years and years okay yeah, the music will always go on and on and on, you know, but we have a rough life with the pirates. Because if you check it out, um, reggae actually used to export on a plane to England in the days from like Treasure Isles and Spatinger and Coxon and all of them. Yeah? And today, day, that plane is called Virgin. <laughs> you understand? I understand. Good. So, you know, everything helped 
but as we are say there is still justice to be done in the music business for the youths them will come up every time mm -hmm. you know so we just a open prayer that you know some a gate can open for all the youths for them have and achieve you know mm -hmm. yeah man but i just want love to the world same way you know mm -hmm. yeah i mean in the last sort of like three to six months the government here has actually put a really big push on you know introducing this reggae museum into jamaica um reggae is now a you know a global treasure heritage treasure okay. what's your opinion on things like that well, my opinion uh, we just have to give thanks to anything where one on one try to do towards reggae to uplift it you know because the star was turned up right so right now in a while and star was i say yo Ye yeah, ready, sing it, sing it. We don't stop singing. No care all the pirates them run with the food, we still are sing. Straight. Yeah, man, straight. straight, straight, straight. <laughs> yeah. Now, outside of music, yeah. to, outside of music, yeah. what is Michael Rose as the person outside of music? You have a coffee farm. Oh, well, yeah, we have a coffee farm, but like the people from um, the countryside, they work to support themselves and send them youth go to school. And yeah, we don't worry about that because we don't take nothing from that. Mm. Yeah, man, because Jack give you everything and we give thanks and we still give you some. Mm. So that's how life is. It's a growth, you know. And your youngest daughter, I hear that she's a very good writer as well. Yeah, okay. <laughs> she's a lot of stuff. <laughs> I hear that. Sh I mean, obviously, through the works that you've put in, you've been able to give yeah. back to your children and yeah. give them a life. So all of your children have gone through education. Yeah. Well, um, they you them go to university, and you know, she's gonna have like her masters in architect. You know, Angelique, and she she has an album coming out soon. But because of uh, she have exam and these things, she have to settle down and do her test them. You know. So you know, stay tuned to the world. Yeah, Angelique will be there, man. You know, Angelique Rose. She's coming. She's coming. She's yes. coming. Okay, what's coming musically now for Michael Rose? Because I know that you've been working with right. people like Cold Fever, yeah. Spragger. Let's yeah. talk to the viewers about that project. Yeah, well, um, first and foremost, Taro stand up right. That's all we are telling them, say, guess who? Get justice and we are taking it to the world. And we are, we are, we are yo, everything kick away. Kara Chunde, mad. I'm the maddest thing in the world right now. Cold Fever, stay tuned. Yeah? Rude Boy at again. Right. Yeah, it's yeah. playing in England right now, and I hear that uh, in the grapevine that releases are going to be done in Jamaica here. I like that. No respect, and no respect to Spraga Benz because he was also a support in the, the Cold Fever uh, production. Sure. Yeah, man. I mean, I say, big up the youth them every time, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Cold Fever, Robert Lee, yeah. good people. Yeah. I mean, I say, Blue Fire now. Yeah, Dan of all Dan. Yeah, it's going to go places. Kaya dance dancehall tune, you know, you know. know. Uh, this, this is how it is. We have to make tune for the, you know the dancehall youth. Them car, I saw the thing go. So I say more love to the dancehall youth. Them, yo, papi, big up your thing. Wemly no good. You see me? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now album projects. Yeah. Um, I hear that there's there's something very very special that you're working on in terms of a new album. Okay. Yeah, I have a ska album coming soon. So you know. Uh, a ska album. Yeah, a ska album. So okay. stay tuned. Uh, yeah, it's it's mad. You know. <laughs> Is this something that you're working on yourself as a self-production? Yeah, well, you know, I have a recording studio in Miami there and I, I record a lot. Every day I make music, so stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. A, a message to all the people that have supported not only Michael Rose, yeah. but everybody. Yeah. We are a warm welcome to the world, you know, man, for keeping the music supporting the music over the years and we are say yo we haven't forget them even if we don't come to your town or your country or whatever it is you don't know the depression in babylon sometimes we don't get your visa stay tuned